everyone welcome back to my channel dental cafe if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest video so today i'm going to discuss about the kennedy classification of edentulous arches okay then let's begin the video first of all you should know that it is a classification of partially edentulous arches not for the denture it is very important point and it was given by the dr edward kennedy in 1923 remember this point this is very important point if you are preparing for competitive exam now what is kennedy's classification he classified edentulous arches into four classes class 1 class 2 class 3 and class 4 begin with kennedy's class 1 what is kennedy's class 1 it is bilateral edentulous areas located posterior to the remaining natural teeth remember located posterior to the remaining natural teeth that is there are two edentulous spaces located in the posterior region let's understand in detail as you can see in the figure we have natural dentition and posteriorly we have edentulous area as you can see we have bilateral edentulous area in the posterior region Anteriorly, we have natural dentition and posteriorly edentulous area which is located posterior to the natural teeth. That is why it is called Kennedy class 1 which means we have bilateral edentulous area posterior to the remaining natural dentition. As you can see in the figure, it is very well clear. Now Kennedy's class 2. It is a unilateral edentulous area located posterior to the remaining natural teeth that is there is a single edentulous space located in the posterior region in kennedy's class 1 we have bilateral edentulous area in kennedy's class 2 we have unilateral edentulous area okay let's understand in the detail as you can see in the figure we have edentulous area which is unilateral and anteriorly we have natural dentition so in kennedy class 2 we have single edentulous area this is the only difference between kennedy class 1 and kennedy class 2 in both the cases we have edentulous area located posteriorly to the remaining natural dentition but in kennedy class 1 we have bilateral and in kennedy class 2 we have unilateral edentulous area d class 3 it is an unilateral edentulous area with natural teeth anterior and posterior to it that is this indicates a single edentulous area which does not cross the midline of the arch this point is very important it does not cross the midline and the unilateral area bounded anteriorly and posteriorly by the natural dentition let's understand in the detail as you can see in the figure we have a single edentulous area and we have natural dentition anterior and posterior to it so you can see in the figure single edentulous area bounded anteriorly and posteriorly by the natural dentition this is kennedy class 3 now the last one is the kennedy's class 4 single but bilateral edentulous area located anterior to the remaining natural teeth and this single edentulous area cross the midline of the arch this point is very important it crosses the midline and secondary it is bilateral edentulous area okay let's understand in the detail as you can see in the figure we have edentulous area which is single but bilateral if we draw the line from the midline of the arch as you can see edentulous area crosses the midline it means it is bilateral single but bilateral and it is anterior to the natural dentition as you can see in the figure i think now it is very very clear to all what is the difference between Kennedy class 1, class 2, class 3 and class 4? I hope this video is helpful for you. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest update. Thank you for watching.